was our goal today? To get to a library, but we didn't, I didn't see any big snowstorms in the forecast. We're heading towards Missoula, Montana. So I think we're gonna have to find a place to pull over and chain up. This is crazy. Yeah, look, look at this. I mean, you can almost not see the road right now. We still got 80 miles to go. Just sit back, relax. I'm gonna have to turn around if it gets much worse. up already. Look how hard it's snowing. It just got on the road. It looked like fall. No snow at all. And now all of a sudden, boom. Time to test these new chains out already. Looks good. A lot better than cables. Snowing really hard when I got the chains out and started putting them on. Got them all on, only took a few minutes, and now it's like blue sky and just a couple of snowflakes. But I'll still feel better going over the pass with the chains on. Yeah. This thumping sound is not the sound you want to hear when you're driving with chains. We pull over to readjust and tighten our chains just in time for the snow plow to go by. That was nice, Amim. Yeah. I thought we were gonna get plastered with snow. Yeah. Now that the plows come, we don't need the chains. We're still leaving them on. Let's go. It's like as soon as you take the time and effort to put them on, you don't need them, but oh well. It was an experience just get used to putting them on all the time will help you when you need to really get them on quick in an emergency situation. We took too long, the plow came. Yeah. Now look at the road. Well, that was a fun two miles with the chains on. Now look at the road. Chains are coming off. Two. A local told us this is a charm again and during the winter they turn all white. This fellow here is quite feisty. I'm not sure he likes being on camera. And he's unlike any ptarmigans I can find on the web. Do you know what kind of bird this is? Are they in the grouse family? Yeah. Okay. I think it likes to be on camera. Or doesn't like to be on camera.
<laughs> you just got attacked. Uh-oh. I think I'm going to get attacked. Nobody told you about ptarmigans. They're always worried about bear. <laughs> This is so pretty. There's a really light, slow falling snow. The views are spectacular. Perfect day. I have to show you. Look at the snow. Okay, look what's down here. We were not planning on doing any hikes today, but we got up here. Avalanche Lake is two miles. It's Look the at the perfect, snow. It's the perfect, gentle, mood-setting snow <laughs> that we love so much. So we just wanted to get outside and experience this and go see what the lake looked like. Yeah, I mean, how many times do you get this opportunity where there's only enough snow to make it beautiful, but you can still hike in? Yep, gotta take advantage. Yep.
There's a whole cluster of trees that are all blown over in this one spot. That must have been... Yeah, that root system is huge! Like over twice your height. And there's a whole line of trees behind it too. The snow is quite a bit deeper than when we started this hike and it's been snowing the whole time. Beautiful out here. Very soothing. I wish I could show you up against the mountain off to our left here because there's all kinds of frozen waterfalls and icicles hanging off all the rock ledges. So glad we went on this hike. Yeah, it's a weird combination. You'd think it was hot water or something. Beautiful. Winter Wonderland. Yeah, the scenery has changed so much. It was just a little trace of amount of snow and thick forest starting to open up a bit. Snow's getting deeper. glad we decided to do this hike. It's been the perfect hike. We made it all the way up to Avalanche Lake here. I just can't ask for a better day than this. <laughs> We've actually had the goalie locks of snow. We have. It's, <laughs> it's not too deep that you can't hike through, but a nice enough to where you can enjoy a gentle stroll with the snow falling yeah. at the same time. And it's actually snowing pretty hard right now. We got two miles to head back, check on Rodo Doodle. Yep, he's been in the van patiently waiting for us. Yeah, so I think it's time we head back. Yep. How much snow would you say he's here? Maybe 14, 15 inches over a foot. <laughs> That's a lot. What's the best thing you have on you today? The micro spikes. So these little things are they easy to put on and easy to take off. And they have spikes on the bottom of them. And they grip to the snow. Without these, I would have fallen a couple of times already. With these, I haven't even slipped. So I don't know if you've heard about them. If you haven't, Carrie will leave a link in the description and you can check them out and see if it's something that you might like. Yeah, they're pretty awesome. And they go right back on super quick. I like the brand that you have better than the ones I have. That's it. Why did it take us so many years to figure those out? I don't know. I wish I would have known 10 years ago. These <laughs> things are awesome. <laughs> For slow learners. Oh, cool was that? 
That's the closest a buck has ever walked to me, ever. And he just kept going. He just knew where he wanted to go and he didn't care that we were there. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> We are just now getting back to the van. Gonna check on Rudel here. I think we're gonna look for a place to stay the night and maybe try a day two tomorrow here in the park. We are in Northern Montana at Glacier National Park. And the park system just made a change that if you are a veteran, not just an active veteran, but any veteran can get into national parks now for free. And we just, just that's what we did. And all you have to do is show your VA health card. If you don't have one of those, you can have them print veteran on your license next time you update your license, your driver's license. And there's Rudel. And, oh yeah, hi boy. So this has made it really nice. Not only did we get in for free, but they have a campsite here that's open from November to March. It's free winter camping inside a national park. And this is only the second national park that we have found that allows for free camping inside the park. And I'm sure if there's two, there's more. So if you know of another national park that allows free camping, please let us know. Beautiful morning. Did you walk down to the lake? Yeah, you can see the snow-capped mountain over the lake. Nice. The bottom's covered with clouds, but it's beautiful. So, another buck off right across in front of us this morning. Oh, another mule deer? Yeah. Nice. So we're camped right beside McDonald or Lake McDonald, even though it's through the trees and you can't see it right from where we're parked, but it's just a short walk away. And this is going to allow us to explore the park without wasting a bunch of gas. And I think it's pretty darn cool. There's a trail down there that dogs are allowed on, so. All right. Win, win, win. I know, it really is. <laughs> what a good time of year to go to the park if your vehicle is winterized and ready for the cold, that is. There is a pit toilet here and there's a dumpster that they apparently leave open all winter long. So it makes it pretty handy. So I think it's time for us to go explore. Yeah. On the eastern shore of the largest lake inside the park, Lake McDonald, McDonald Lodge holds 82 rustic yet comfortable guest rooms between the three-story lodge. An essential stop along the Going to the Sun Road, one of the most iconic drives in the United States. Be sure to check out the Red Bus Tour. Did you know that you can fish inside the park without a fishing license? Be sure to bring your fishing gear.
Tonight's dinner is mashed potatoes, uh, ground beef and sausage, corn and green beans, and a little onions. I call it goulash. Dave likes it. It's super easy to make. Let's go see what he's doing. What are you guys doing? I'm making a fire. Ah, oh, I hear it. Wow. It's not the driest wood, but once I split it, it does burn. You got a good fire. Yep. That's a nice way to end our last night here. You got it. Yay. And what are you up to, huh? Watch where you're running. Super enjoyed our time here at Glacier National Park and I see these mountains and all these peaks and it really makes me want to get into the backcountry, get the backpacks on and explore. Yes. Obviously not this time of year, <laughs> so we're going to have to come back. Yeah, we only saw a very small portion of the park, but it, what we saw was spectacular. Yeah, I can see why people come here every year. We've heard stories that people for the last 10 years have come here every single year and have seen something different. Yeah. And it's, it's been amazing. I'm glad we stopped. Me too. Yep. We'll be back. Appreciate you guys watching our videos and we'll see you next time. If you would like to support our channel, please consider becoming a patron or check out our new merchandise at oneadvancereatatime.com. We also have stickers available in our website store. Thank you for watching.